Congratulations for making it to civil services. Thank you. Would you like to introduce us about yourself and your educational background? Yeah, uh, my name is Jayashi Gusain. I'm coming from Dindikal in Tamil Nadu. My graduation is uh, engineering. Uh, I have done my engineer, civil engineering from Epkosh Lank Engineering College, Sivagasi. How was your interview and what were the type of questions being asked in the interview? Yeah, uh, the interview was fine. Uh, and uh, it was uh, Shil Vardhan Shah's board. And the main thing is, lo- not a lot of questions came from DAF. And the interview was very like uh, it was uh, it was just around twenty to twenty five minutes, and I I prepared for a lot of things, but at the end it's just a kind of a discussion. So there is no need to worry about it. Just go and discuss, and they are friendly, friendly enough to introduce themselves. They keep you at calm pace, and then they ask their questions. So did they ask any trickish question? Are any trickish this question? Uh, they didn't go into a lot of uh, situation or opinionated questions. Uh, one thing that I can think is, uh, they asked whether India can get an UNSC seat. And uh, I believe, yes, we can do so with our diplomacy. So that was one thing. And they asked uh, other uh, case study based questions like uh, the handloom industries, how are they doing? What are the problems in it? And those were the questions that were kind of uh, tricky. Yeah. What motivated you to pursue civil service as a career? Uh, it's mainly because of my parents they are my motivation and because both of them are in uh, the state government service and the other thing is i li- i like to help people and gives me uh, it's it gives me happiness to lend my hand to help people so what was the mode of your preparation for this examination did you go for coaching or self study um, i started my preparation during the covid phase so i was not able to uh, uh, go on offline classes but uh, yes i subscribed to online mode of classes and that's it yeah what was your strategy for prelims and how did you handle the csat i would say keep it simple don't complicate stuff uh, don't like go behind too many sources don't read two two to three newspapers just one newspaper for current affairs one book for polity one book for not even a book for uh, economy just go with the newspaper just keep it simple if i can condense in one sentence that would be it and what was your strategy for mains and how did you approach the mains uh mains i would say is concentrate on the 20% such as uh uh facts data and uh, other sort of stuff that would be eye pricking or uh, uh, that would catch the interest of a person because at the end of the day 2800 candidates are writing the exam and you, all of them are going to write more or less the same if you are able to give some facts in it if you are able to draw some diagrams if you are able to distinguish your paper from others then i believe that would make a difference Did the board ask you questions about international relations and foreign policy? Uh, the one question was the, that, as I mentioned, the UNSC question. Other than that, there was not a lot of uh, foreign relations questions. How did you stay physically and mentally strong and motivated, given the competitive nature of this examination? Yeah, I can't say for the physical thing because uh, I have gained a lot of a uh, lot of mass in these in these three years. But in the case of mental, I would say do journaling. That thing helped me. Yeah. What's your take on mental health and UPSC preparation? Yeah, it ha- it has a lot of mental effect, and uh, because a lot of people are competing with you, and you see a lot of candidates, and the seats are limited, and that would make you somewhat demotivated because there are a lot of people are uh, working here, a lot of people are coming into the classes. But just remember that all you need is one single seat. You don't need two thousand eight hundred seats. If it's if that if that's your approach, then I believe uh, you can take care of the mental thing. What is the role of hobbies, and what sort of hobbies do you pursue? Yeah, kindly have a hobby or two because uh, it's not your life; it's just uh, an exam. So I have two to three hobbies. My hobbies, as I said, journaling. I watch uh, anime in my uh, free time, and I also do cycling. I may not look like it, but I do some cycling. Yeah, <laughs> that's all. How was the night before the interview, and how do you feel now? Yeah, my friends told that they were not able to sleep and all, but. Uh, I slept very well because yeah, it was okay. Not a fine. A fine question. What is your advice or suggestion for the future aspirants who are preparing for this exam? Given the very complicated nature of this exam, if you have really the passion for it, go for it. Don't go for any other reasons because this is a long process. It takes years. Sometimes it takes a lot of years. So if you don't have the hobby or passion within yourself to pursue the exam, then find something that you have a hobby. but if you believe if you want to uh, provide your service to the community if you are apt for it then do come into the exam it's very rewarding thank you
thank you so much for speaking to us. It was genuinely so nice thank speaking you. to you and we wish all the very best of luck for your results. Thank you.